You're listening to KDART Graveyard Shift with Harper and Sterling. Only, Only. on 97.3 KDART. K-Dart. Good evening, Love Field, and a happy Halloween. You've tuned into the late night sounds of Sterling Graves and Harper Blake, only on 97.3 KDART, your number one classic rock station. I'm Sterling Graves, your new voice for the night, with my radiant co host, Harper Blake. Hello, Love Field. Hope you all had a safe, fun night trick or treating. Please make sure to check all your kids' candy, and if you're out late partying, especially at the old Jasper's place, stay safe and have those designated drivers ready. The old Jasper place? Yeah, it's an old barn at the end of Hickory Creek Drive. No one owns it, so it's now the hottest place for all the community college kids to have their parties at. If no one owns the place, then why is it called the old Jasper's place? And I'm pretty sure the real reason is very boring, but the story that gets passed around town goes like this. Good old Jasper's granddad was an ancient witch hunter who used his barn to burn his victims that he accused of practicing witchcraft. Now, after all these years later, old Jasper continued his grandfather's mission and swore on his life to look out for any witches in Love Field. My father even remembered him bursting into the Baptist church service, yelling that the witches were going to rise. Three days later, on November 1st, 1983, he was found in his barn, dead with his old rifle next to him. The cause of death was inconclusive, but they found large composites of calcium in his heart. He never fired his rifle and instead looked to be buried by something as his clothes were covered in dirt. Also, his shovel was never found. Whoa! Spooky. Did Jasper have any other family in Lovefield? Nope, so when old Jasper was found deceased, his property went straight to the town hall, which now marks the barn as a historical and memorial site for all his granddad's victims, which was probably roughly 20 women back in the 1800s. Now, on Halloween night, young adults and teens go out for their annual Jasper Seek. Some believe that old Jasper buried some treasure up there in the tree line of his property, as apparently that's what he was doing when his heart gave out. Lots of spooky history in Lovefield. Truly a special place. Speaking of which, let's take a call from one of our listeners who says they're out on Jasper Seek. Hello, you're on the air with Sterling Graves and Harper Blake. What's on your mind? Hey, Harper and Sterling. We just want to say we're totally here rocking with you guys while we are out seeking old Jasper's treasure. Lucas Harrington, is that you? You told me you weren't going out tonight. Yeah, Blakesters. Ryan was able to drag me out here. Woo, Alex! Go! (laughs) Oh, no. Lucas Harrington and Ryan Mercer together? That's never a good combination. You two be careful out there, okay? That goes to all our listeners out there. Lucas, you give us a call if you guys find anything, and thank you for listening to K-Dart, Love Field's number one classic rock station. (laughs) You got it, Grave Man. Our next caller says they have some interesting information about what really happened to old Jasper. Hello, you're on air with Sterling and Harper. Uh, hello? Yes, hello. Your connection seems weak, but you're on air. You told our producer you have information about what really happened to old Jasper. Uh, yes, yes, I do. This is Dr. Hicks. I did an old Jasper's autopsy back in the day. Oh, yes, Dr. Hicks. How are you? I'm fine, my dear. But I was up late tonight with some acid reflux. Must have been my grandson's Halloween candy. I heard you all talking about old Jasper. Now that's a case that's been bugging me for decades. I was just hired as a deputy coroner and was the only one working that Halloween night when the police brought me old Jasper. What you said about him having high levels of calcium in his heart was correct. But in my investigation, old Jasper also had normal functioning parathyroid glands and no sign of renal diseases. I'm sorry, Doc, I didn't attend med school. What exactly are you trying to say here? Oh, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is I couldn't figure out medically why there was such a high concentration of calcium in old Jasper's body. You see, I believe he didn't take his own life. I believe he was murdered. You're listening to Love Fields. Love Fields. Number one classic rock station. 97.3. K-Dart. K-Dart. K-Dart.